Here's where we left things off yesterday. I uh, ran some of the cabling under the tunnel and quickly realized that the cable I had was too short. Um, so went to Harbor Freight this morning, picked up a six foot instead of a three foot and need to pull some of this out and redo some of my work here. So I'm gonna video that as I go. Got the inverter uh, mount pulled out, inverter still bolted down. So now I'm gonna wire in the 115 volt that's run under the tunnel and pops out in the back of the van, as well as start hooking up the, the 12 volt on this side. So I'm gonna do a disconnect switch. That'll be a, a hard disconnect, as well as a fuse that's gonna be over under that seat where it hooks into the main power. These wires really didn't want to insert into the uh, connection here. They're um, just normal uh, braided wires instead of solid core, which I think these connectors are designed for like Romex solid core wire. So I threw some solder on them and hoping that they insert now. Gonna give it a go. Much better. Went in and they are nice and snug now. I'll focus. Nice and snug, so throw a little tape on them and then put the cover on. Another status update. So covers on, these are all clamped down nice and secure. The uh, positive and negative are connected. Negative is run to a the seat bolt or the seat stand bolt down here. Uh, used a little sandpaper and cleaned it up, got it to see if it'll focus down there. Got it to have a really strong connection, used my multimeter to, to check to make sure it had a really good connection. So now it is time to run the thicker, longer uh, power cable under the tunnel. It's gonna go across the tunnel and connect to the factory auxiliary power hookup, which is under there. Um, so I'll check back here in a couple of minutes when I've pulled the driver's seat out and have lifted up the floor so that we have access to the tunnel. 
few hours later, here we are. This is the new 175 amp fuse, along with the two gauge cable that runs under the tunnel over to the amp. Um, I got a bunch of help from Raymond um, moving the seats in and out. So didn't film at all while doing this process, but ran the cable under here and got it all set up, tested it already. Things are looking good. So just going through and showing how it's set up. The nice thing about this is this unit, uh, this box, is provided by the factory for auxiliary wiring. Had to go track down a fuse that would fit though. Uh, thankfully, AutoZone had one and was able to get it all set up. Had to find these nuts at a hardware store. Um, they're an M8 uh, coarse thread and threw some Loctite on them. So they're torqued down and shouldn't go anywhere. Here it is all put away, kind of bright, but uh, see that that box that I had, I had open just tucks in here and snaps into place underneath the seat. I'm gonna cover it up. Final step, putting the passenger seat in. The inverter's all plugged in. The 115 volt output is wired and run to the back of the van using this uh, heavy duty extension cord. So it should be plenty for carrying the current. The remote cable is also run to the back. It's not plugged in yet. This is the auxiliary input that I'm not planning to use. And then these other two outputs are both available. So switched on currently, but you can see it's not on. Um, back here in the back is a cutoff. So come around and I can do this all one-handed. See the cutoff I drilled uh, a hole through the side of the mount. Um, hopefully this focuses it. There we go. And it's currently off, but I can turn it on. Can you hear the unit power up? And the air blows out this direction. So I'm gonna find a uh, cover or a door here that will snap on that has vents in it. Um, in the meantime, I'll just leave the door off. That way it has plenty of ventilation to circulate the air. The top, since it's just that loose foam, not too concerned about it getting hot and overheating in here, but uh, we'll definitely be keeping an eye on it when I'm first using it to make sure ventilation is not a problem. Can always take the foam um, lays in here, roughly like that. Uh, can always cut some more holes in it and or just leave it off if it's actually a problem. But I'm hoping that it's not. I don't think it will be. Uh, see everything's hooked up, pretty tidy and ready to get some use out of it.